the best feeling for me riding my dirt bike has got to be getting getting real low in a corner. You know, I mean, everyone can hit a jump, everyone can go fast, but I feel like when you're really digging down, you know, dragging your bars in a turn, that's got to be the best feeling for me. Uh, my name is Vincent Murphy. I'm 16 years old from High Park, New York, and I race 250 and 450B. I started out racing motocross when I was four. Well, I didn't really race. I was riding out on a baseball field until I was about six years old. So, I mean, I loved it there. I just wide open across the field. And then once the idea of racing on a track, you know, I was all for it. You know, my dad brought me out to, to Long Island motocross when I was six years old. And it really just kickstarted from there. I loved racing with my friends. You know, everyone was so, you know, so fun to hang out with. It, it turned into a big family at the motocross track. My 2013 season was uh, up and down, you know, we qualified for Loretta's, but we went through a lot of injuries. I broke my shoulder about halfway through the season and I just made it to the regional. Uh, I won the regional in, uh, in the C class and at Loretta's I just, just choked. I uh, went down a lot, was on the ground, couldn't really do much uh, because of that. Got taken out in the first moto, kind of set, set the stage for the whole week. But then, you know, I came back strong in uh, the Kawasaki Racing Champions. Uh, I won that, but then also the last moto that weekend, uh, I broke my hand. So it's been rough, so I'm looking forward to this uh, 2014 season. Living in New York, is it's really a struggle being a motocross racer. You know, we don't have many places to, to ride. And uh, living in the New York City metro area is kind of pretty cool, you know. It's, a, it's definitely a cool environment to live in, but it hurts the motocross, uh, my motocross career for sure. But uh, we make it work, we do as much as we can. Between races during the week, I don't really get to ride that much. You know, I gotta focus on school because I'm, I'm doubling up in school to graduate a year early. So my guidance counselor, Dr. Valdez, she's been the biggest help to me out of uh, in high school. I'm so impressed with him because he has been able to merge 11th and 12th grade into one year, including all of his regents exams, uh, assignments, all of his uh, community service that he had to do, plus keep his motocross schedule. My teacher's thoughts are, are, are really mixed in school, you know, some of them, some of them get angry sometimes when I miss class for, for riding, but others are really supportive and, you know, they're always asking me too, you know, how I'm doing with motocross, but, you know, I really can't do much about that because I just got to go to school and, and get my work done and finish that because that's obviously most important. He has been on top of everything this year, there's been not a single issue. Um, all of his assignments have been in on time. I've never had to question, uh, question him on getting all his work done, his report card. Each marking period has been terrific. Uh, he's been proactive in the college process to just make sure that all of his uh, letters of recommendation have been taken care of. Um, you know, he may not be using them right away, but at least they're in process so that when he's ready to use them, we have everything at hand. You know, she's the one that came up with the idea for graduating, graduating a year early because we were gonna pull out of school and be homeschooled, but when she came up with the idea that I could graduate early, you know, we took it, so. A motocross is something I'm not even that familiar with. Uh, Mrs. Murphy has helped me to understand a little bit more about it, and I know it's a little dangerous, but it's certainly exhilarating, and he enjoys it so much, it's a passion, and I, I can't wait to see his further successes. I talk to her at least a couple times a week about how I'm doing, and she keeps me, keeps me on track, tells me what I gotta keep doing and what I gotta do better, so. Without her, I probably wouldn't be in this situation right now or had this opportunity. Being the only motocross racer in my school is, uh, it's pretty cool, you know. It makes me unique compared to the other kids that just play uh, all the other high school sports. And all my friends are super supportive, you know. They want to see me be successful and they support me 100%. You know, they always ask me how I'm doing uh, at the races and stuff. So, so I try to keep them updated and, you know, they're always supportive for me. So that's obviously a, a huge help in my, uh, in my mind. I try to uh, focus on my physical, uh, my physical mostly with Pablo, so I, I usually just go to school. Right after school I get on a bus and get on a train and go train with him all night.
obviously I can't drive yet, I'm only 16 years old, but you know, the, the train and subway is real cheap. Uh, I only pay $250 uh, for one way there and $250 for, for the way back. So fortunately that's, that's good for me and that's pretty much the main reason why I take it, just because I'm so fortunate to have it so close to my house. When I started this, it was, it was so cool seeing seeing how other people live and you see uh, the highest of the highest class and the lowest of the lows. So, you know, you're really, you're really uh, thankful for, for the stuff that you have and uh, it makes you really think that what your life could be, you know, if you weren't as fortunate for what you have and what your family gives you, so. At Pablo Fitness, you know, of course, the spin class is so important. You know, he's, he's James, Stewart's, James Stewart's trainer, so. You know, you see where James Stewart's at, so I feel like it's so important for me to get down there as much as I can and put the work in with him because I know he knows what he's doing and you know, he's been putting me in the right direction and helping me out a lot. So that's why it's so important to get down there because I know if I do what he says, you know, I'll progress so much. I've been working with Pablo for three months now. Uh, when I went in there, I was, I was not where, anywhere where I should have been. Ben Rio brought me down there to meet him, and since I've been working with him, it's just so much progression. I mean, my physical fitness has shot through the roof. You know, I've, I've lost a bunch of weight, and it's really looking how it's supposed to be, because before I went in there, you know, I wasn't really that dedicated to what I was supposed to be doing. And, you know, he really turned my attitude around when I went in there. And now it's like a whole different ball game when I'm racing or riding. I feel so great. And it, it's all because of Pablo Terribio. You know, he's been, he's been working me like crazy, but I'm thankful for every bit of it. The goals for the season are, are really just make it to Loretta's. You know, I made it out, out of all my qualifiers. Unfortunately, I couldn't do the Northeast this year because my high school graduation is on is on the day of the regional. So we went out uh, a little west to Ohio and to Illinois to, uh, to make that happen. So we qualified out there and hopefully we can get that done and make it to Loretta's. I feel like if I, if I make it to Loretta's this year, I should do way better than, you know, than I've ever ridden because I got a, a great team behind me helping me out with everything. So I think this year should really be successful and hopefully if I do good at Loretta's, I'll, I'll carry that into the A class and into uh, Obviously we have to race arena cross now to make it into supercross, so that's obviously the goal for maybe this year or next. So that's probably my goals for this year and next year. My friends and family are, are the most important to me. I have, probably have the best, the best family uh, to support me in this sport. I mean aunts, uncles, grandma, everyone is behind me and everyone, you know, I keep them updated because you know, they love it. They love that I do this. You know, there's been times where I've been down, but, you know, my Uncle Gary, I mean, he said to me so many times, he said, listen, anyone's beatable and you can do, you can do whatever you set your mind to. So, I mean, he's given me a lot, of, a lot of words of encouragement and I gotta thank him so much for that. All right, first I gotta thank the Lord for giving me uh, this great health and talent to be able to race a dirt bike because obviously, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. So, he's, uh, he's the most important to me. And also I gotta thank uh, Jimmy and Kevin from Island Power Sports, they've been a huge help for me, you know, parts and bikes and stuff like that. Uh, 7MX hooking me up with all the, all the gear for, uh, for the 2014 race season. Uh, the Monster Army, they've been huge help for me. Uh, Factory Connection, uh, giving me the best suspension, period, you know, like, like they say. Uh, Motul, with all the oils, they've been a huge help for me. Pablo Fitness, of course. Uh, Pablo Terribio been helping me out with my fitness, you know, during during the weeks in between the races. Uh, Tucker Rocky's been helping me out with, uh, with all my other gear and my parts. Gardner Race Service for building me an awesome motor uh, for my mod bike this year for all the nationals. Uh, Team Green also helped me out with the bikes. And, uh, and of course, my friends and family have been, have been one of the huge helps for me this year. So uh, that's really it. You know, I have an awesome team behind me and I think uh, they're gonna be a huge help for, uh, for my moving forward.